Hey girl, hey! How you doing girl? It's your virtual drag mum, Trampain. And today I'm going to be transforming myself from this to this. Using the art of drag. And I'm going to show you how I achieved this transformation from beginning to end. So stay with me. The first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to glue down my eyebrows. And so I get some Elvis glue and I smear it generously onto my head just to make sure that everything is flat to my skull. I use a nice generous amount of this. When it comes to removing your facial hair, make sure that your face, your beard area is nice and wet with hot water. Instead of using shaving lotion, I'm going to be using conditioner, simply because I find shaving foam smells quite masculine, and when I get up and close and personal with people, especially for like pictures, I want to be smelling as feminine as possible. Side note, I would not recommend shaving in front of a camera, that damn near tore up my whole entire face. I would recommend doing it as soon as you get out of the shower or the bath, where the hot water has had time to soak into your pores and open them up, so you don't end up ripping your face apart. Once that's done, you put on some Nivea After Shave Lotion, and this is actually going to be a really ideal primer. As well as soothing your face from the torture that you just endured. Because my eyebrows are thick and dense, I have to go in with multiple layers. So after I do my first layer, I lick the glue a little bit, just so it's a bit wet, and I just repeat that process. I grab me a wig cap to cover my hair, and then I use duct tape to secure that wig cap in place, and also it helps lift the face and tie it up, and I need all the help I can get. And it protects your hair from the wig glue that we use later on. When it comes to the foundation, I like to use the Max Factor Pan Stick because it is super, super thick. It provides ideal coverage, especially when you're trying to hide certain things, such as your eyebrows. So I coat it over my eyebrows and my jawline, and I try to apply it as evenly as possible. A beauty blender is a super good tool, just for evening everything out and making everything look so much smoother. I use Technique Setting Powder to set all of that foundation that I just put on. Because like I said, I really applied a thick amount. And the setting powder is going to help dry out any of the moisture. It also sets all your makeup in place so you can build upon it. Once you're happy that the pan stick has indeed dried up, you can wipe away any of the excess setting powder. For the main foundation, the Smashbox Colour Correction has become my go-to foundation. It's thick, it sits nicely on my face, and like it says in its name, it's great for colour correcting. Once you've applied it liberally, get your beauty blender and blend it all in. Keep tapping away until your canvas is nice and smooth. When it comes to contouring, I get the lightest pan stick available in the shade Fair. And I apply it just to all my highlight areas. So that's my forehead, 
under my eyes, my chin and my cupid's bow and the centre of my nose. And then I get a Technique foundation stick in a really dark coffee colour and I'm going to use that for my contour. So it'll go around my head, it'll go on my cheekbones, it'll go under my jawline and it will just frame the nose contour. Once you're happy with how that is all sitting, you can blend it out. I use one beauty blender and I rotate it according to whether I am blending my highlight or my contour. And I would highly recommend alternating between the two for a nice smooth blend. Where and how you apply your contour is completely up to you. Girl, this is drag, there are no rules. But have fun trying new ways and just get to know your face shape. Work with what your mama gave you, girl. Once you're satisfied with your blend, you can set it all out. And I will be using a Max Factor Cream Puff just so everything sits in place. When it comes to my eyes, I like to start with my eyebrows. But it doesn't really matter if you do your eyebrows first or your eye makeup. But me personally, I like to do my eyebrows first because it kind of sets the tone and gives me a really good guide for when it comes time to actually doing the eyes. So I use a black eyeliner just to create the framing of my eyebrows. And then I use the Technique Chunky Liquid Eyeliner just to colour them in. I only colour them in about three quarters of the way because I have plans for the rest of the eyebrow. Once I'm pretty happy with the eyebrows, I get a Technique face cream in the colour white and I just start tracing along the bottom of the eyebrow and bringing it down so it starts to reach my eyelid. This helps make the eyebrow itself pop and the colours that I'm going to be using pop even more. Sellotape is a great tool to use to stick under your eyes, especially if you're wanting your eyeshadow to have a sharp, dramatic finish. I'm using the shade Fuchsia from the Morphe Colour Burst Palette. And I like to apply that nice and high up to the eye to the point that the corner of the eyeshadow touches my drawn on eyebrows. Use as much of the lid as you want, girl. It's drag. Like I said, there are no rules. Besides, you want the people in the back of the club to see your face and admire your beauty, right? With the same Morphe palette, I go in with the shade Beats Me and I just go underneath the fuchsia that I've done. This is going to be my cut crease transition colour, so I don't need it to actually go as high as the fuchsia. But it is important to blend it all together. Because the better the blend, the better you feel, girl. When creating a new lid, I go in with the Max Factor that I use for my highlighter. So I get the fair pan stick, I put it on a brush and I create my new lid. Going right up into that beautiful Beats Me colour. Before I continue with the rest of my eye colours, I go in with a liquid eyeliner and I create some nice big wings. From the Colour Burst palette, I go in with the purplish and I just go into the corner of my eyes and I'm trying to blend the eyeliner into my new lid into the cut crease. It sounds complicated, but it's pretty easy. And then with the shade Pebble, I darken my eyeliner and the outer corners of my eyes. Now 
Now for under the eyes, I alternate between a shade of pebble and beats me, just to give it that nice smoky finish. Because I'm a sucker for sparkle, I'm going to be using glitter on my eyelids. So I get any old bog standard glitter eyeliner and I just use it as an adhesive and apply it over half of the lids, the parts that were covered with the pan stick. And then with the brush, I dip it into a pot of glitter and I apply it to my lids. With your eyeshadow done, you can remove the sellotape and I just get a beauty blender and I just blend out where any sellotape might have lifted a bit of foundation. The mascara I'm using today is the Maybelline Shock Volume 1, but any old mascara will do. This is just to darken your natural lashes. Keeping on a sparkle theme, I use the glitter to cover the part of the eyebrows that I had previously left there. I use whatever colour glitter my hair colour is going to be. So today, it's purple. I've finished the eyebrow off by going back in with that pan stick and I'm just going to create a little slit just so it fits the Ghetto Girl Barbie theme. I use the NYC bronzer and I just go over all of my contoured parts to darken them up. And then I use the Stardust Highlighting Palette and I apply this just above the contour of my cheekbones and because I'm obsessed with this highlighter, I place a bit on my nose. Pretty much to all the sharp edges of my face actually. For my lipstick, I am going black. I like to overdraw my lips so ridiculously that I find black is really the only colour that can hold the illusion. Plus I like black. I'm using Technique Black Matte Lipstick for the main body of the lips and then I go in with a Black Matte Liquid Cream and I proceed to overdraw that. When it comes to my lashes, I'm very much aware that in drag you can get incredibly hot, especially if you're performing a high energy routine. The first sacrifice is usually the eyelashes, so I use Weave Bonding Glue to secure them in place. I don't know if I would recommend it, but I ain't never gone blind from it. Call me excessive, I don't really care. I wear four pairs of eyelashes and I'm not even sorry about it. The first two sets, I apply to my lash line, making sure they blend in with my natural eyelashes. With the other two pairs, I apply it to my eye at an angle. So the inner corner sits in the inner corner of my eye, but it actually rises diagonally. So the outer corner is actually on my eyelid. Using the same weave bonding glue, I place it around my forehead onto the duct tape and I apply a generous amount without overkilling it. And then I grab my hair and from the back, I pull it forward and adjust it until she is sitting correctly. And then I use an old sock and I apply pressure around the hairline just so it all sets. If you use your bare fingers, I can guarantee that you're gonna have sticky fingers for the rest of the night. And then I pop on my outfit and I pop on my jewelry and I'm good to go. Ghetto Girl Barbie, my go-to high-energy performance look. We got there in the end, girl! And here she is. This is quintessential signature trampane. It's Get A Girl Barbie. It's glam with this ever slight bit of darkness to it all marinated in the streets. I've got my signature lace, I've got my signature braids, and I am feeling good. If you appreciated this video, please give it a good old like. And if you have anything to say, any questions for me, then give it a comment and I will make sure to read that. And feel free to subscribe for any future videos that I am going to be doing. And I have so many planned, which I'm really excited to execute. So I would love for you to be with me on that journey. But until then, I'm your virtual drag mum, Trampane Loves It. And I'm still ugly on the inside. And I'll see you next Tuesday. Mwah!